Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. If you're new here, I welcome you. If you are a returning subscriber, I absolutely welcome you as well. If you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell so that you stay updated in any new video that I uploaded. Guys, in today's recipe, I will be showing you how to make a simple yet delicious fish pepper soup. If you are interested, keep on watching and without any further ado let's get cooking my dad's team let's get started for our pepper soup yes four cloves of garlic i have there and then i have four scotch bonnet pepper or habanero pepper then i also have there one medium sized onion two fresh tomato guys adjust the spice to your liking then also here i have two bell peppers guys yes i cut it took the seeds out and split it in half i just wanted to show you guys so all these ingredients here you see i am going to add them in a pot and boil them before i start making the pepper soup you don't want to miss out guys so keep on watching so next what i'm going to do here obviously the tomatoes are very huge so i'm just going to split them in half and also cut my onions in half Throw in my scotch bonnet or habanero pepper, like I said, adjust the spice to your liking. Throw in my two bell pepper and my uh, four cloves of garlic. Add water, bring it to a boil until it is thoroughly cooked. Until everything is thoroughly cooked. All right, as you can see there, everything is thoroughly cooked. I am going to pick every one of them out, put them aside, and next I am going to add it add them into my blender and blend everything until it is well smooth all right and don't forget you want to add some of that juice that you use to boil all that ingredients i use some of the water i would say two cups of water up to three cups of water to blend it yes you want to use that same water you use to um boil the onions the peppers and all that to blend the um, ingredients so I'm going to go ahead and blend everything until it's well smooth, all right? Until it's really, really creamy and puree-like smooth. Yes, that creamy puree texture. Guys, because we are making pepper soup. Yes, we're going to be enjoying this pepper soup, fish pepper soup. We're going to drink it. You can enjoy this with your fufu. You can enjoy it with your white rice, whichever one rocks your boat. As you can see, after blending the ingredients... I am now going to add my fish into the pot. All right. My fish was thoroughly washed. I soaked it. I brine it in salt water and wash it with lemon juice. Okay. I brine the fish with um, salt water first. All right. It's almost like I'm seasoning the fish, but it was frozen. So I soaked the fish in salted water for like an hour or two. And then I wash it with some lemon juice, freshly lemon juice. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add the fish into my pot. Then next, I'm going to add in some seasoning. All right. So I'm going to season cook the fish first. All right. So I added one tablespoon of cumin powder. All right. Next, I am going to go ahead and add onion powder. You can use one tablespoon or half a, half a tablespoon each, all right? After adding my onion powder next, I'm going to add some garlic powder as well. Then next, I'm going to go ahead and also add some smoked paprika, all right? You don't necessarily have to be smoked paprika. As long as you have paprika, that is perfectly fine. So next, I am going to go ahead and also add in some seasoning cubes. You use any seasoning cube of your choice. I'm using the Nor Chicken Nor seasoning cubes. All 
and when it comes to the spice guys adjust the spice to your liking especially when it comes to the heat if you can tolerate the heat you can adjust that as well then i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in a little bit of salt all right then next i blended like one small onion with water all you see there is onion and water that's it i'm going to i only blend onion and water there so it's pretty much like an onion water I blend that into the blender you just add this the onion half onion or one small onion into the blender with then you add water and that's it so I add that into the pot now I'm going to go ahead and cover the pot and let it do its thing and pre cook it like you know season cook it so after five minutes this is how everything is it looks like um, I am going to gently just kind of like move the fish around a little bit like so you don't want to break the fish guys so next i am going to go ahead and just um continue on with the recipe by adding my blended ingredients which was um, cooked in the pot that i blend in the blender okay that that's the fresh tomato the bell pepper and all so i'm going to go ahead and throw that in there like so then I'm going to use that same water I used to boil the onions and uh, bell pepper and the garlic and all that. You guys saw when I was boiling the, the, the peppers and the onions um, before ahead of time. But before that, I am going to go ahead and throw in one medium size um, can of tomato, um, tomato sauce. All right. So I added one medium size of side um size can of tomato sauce then i use that same water i boil the onions and the pepper and the garlic and all that you don't want to throw that away because it has all that you know nutrients from boiling the onions and the bell peppers so you don't want to throw that away you want to use that to cook your pepper soup so like i said again you want to gently gently move around the fish all right you want to use like a plastic um spoon like so not a plastic but a um silicone plastic that's not going to melt obviously or you can use a, a wooden spoon so i'm going to go ahead and cover the pot for like five minutes on a low medium heat and cook the fish pepper soup as you can see look how beautiful this pepper, pepper soup looks like guys it is a must try and if you already watching this video and you like this video i would appreciate it if you give this video a big thumbs up and the more you like the video the more it helps my channel guys all right so next i am going to go ahead you know me how i like my food the aroma has to be there too not only taste i throw in a couple of um leaves of bay leaves i throw it in there just to give my pepper soup that nice aroma that will just take over the whole house so i gently move around the fish like you, as, as you can see i'm doing in the video so after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cover the pot, give it another 5 to 10 minutes on a low medium heat so that everything will cook. Mind you, the, the unblended onions, the blended ingredients were already cooked as well. So there's not much to it anymore. You just want to cook it until everything kind of simmer down a little. And don't forget to adjust the, the heat when it comes to the habanero pepper or scotch bonnet pepper to your liking. I like spicy food, so I don't mind the heat at all. All right. And like I said again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. The more you like, the more it helps my channel out, the more it supports my channel. And I thank you all so much for watching this video, guys. And voila, after a couple of minutes, it is quick, easy, and simple to make. Yes, our fish pepper soup is ready. If you are under the weather, you can enjoy this fish, fish pepper soup. You don't have to be under the weather to enjoy it. You can enjoy it with your white rice. You can enjoy it with your fufu. You can enjoy it with your starch. And this is how our fish pepper soup looks like. I hope you guys will try this method and try this um, recipe. And you can leave your comment down below. If you have any question, follow me on Instagram and Facebook so that we can connect some more. That is Food Crave Kitchen. Let's grow our family. And I appreciate you all for the support. Without you guys, this channel would not go anywhere. Share this video, like this video, leave your comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you guys want interested in any other recipe, you can comment and leave your comment down below. And guys, I also wanted to introduce you to my other two channels. I run three YouTube channels, guys. If you not already know, 
I have a beauty channel called Hannah's Beauty TV. I will leave a link down below. And I also have another channel called Proud African Eat and Vlog TV, which I do mukbang videos. So if you guys want to see how I'm going to be enjoying actually this pepper soup, I'm going to be posting a video how I'm going to be enjoying this fish, fish pepper soup on my mukbang video, which is called Proud African Eat and Vlog TV. Don't forget to check that channel out and check my other channel which is Hannah's Beauty TV, which I do head wrap, turban wrap, anything that have to do with all your beauty tips and tricks. You want to also check that out. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check that out and subscribe to that, those channel as well. My beauty channel and my uh, mukbang channel, which I do like mukbang and eating, like eating video. All right. If you those type of content um, interest you, you can check that out and see how I'm going to be demolishing this fish pepper soup yes and i thank you all so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and so continue on supporting this channel until i come your way next time may peace be unto you all shalom